they all stay on. That front bail I didn't get quite like I wanted to. I didn't realize it was tipped over that much. But I got that bail on top. I got the back two bales strapped so they can't roll off the end, and that's the only one I got. So I think it'll stay on. It's not any different than the uh, other bale mover when we just set stuff on top. So wow, we're gonna have to shift out. I see these videos of people with 40 20s and they haul like 22, 23 round bills. I'm not sure how they do it. it. Must be pretty flat, that's all I can say. Unless they just drive slower than an elk. That could be that could be it. But uh, that's 11 plus the trailer. It went down to 13 mile an hour. So Another big hill. Let's see how it fares. 19.6 right now. I'm not sure if this is the first or the second steepest hill on the way home. There's another one. I'll drop down and then I go back up. So 16.6, 16.4, 15 15.5, 14.4. We're holding steady at 14 mile an hour. 2,000 RPMs. There we go. Now we're gaining. I think we're good here. Let's see about the next hill. Now when I go down, I'm gonna have to hold it back, so I'm not gonna be going full throttle. Oh, we're losing 13 points. Next hill. And we're gonna start going up route right now. Holding pretty good. I can tell they're still on there. Yeah, we made it home, no problems. Nothing even moved at all, so not even a concern. And I drove 10 miles on the road, a couple on gravel, and majority on a highway, so. Everybody else does it. So figure why waste time uh, putting straps on if you don't need it. Hollow with the truck, we'll probably still put more than one on. The tractor goes slower now. Got another 11 loaded. It'll be my second load, and then Roger, when he was done raking, he loaded eight up on the mover. Went home. He should be coming back soon, I would think. He's been a while, gone a while. Load eight up and head home with 19. So the two balers are down there in the new seating and third crop mix. The field I raked in. But we're definitely not going to be putting this in the shed. I can feel it. It's not, like, soaking wet, but it's pretty damp it's getting late in the day so but uh it is supposed to rain the next like uh six days straight supposedly you know you never know what the weather we still do got another almost 20 acres on the ground but that's not raked this was raked so it's not going to be as bad if it gets rained on a bunch so it's whatever but uh we would have had this bailed earlier in the day if our bailer didn't break, so. Oh, it's still pretty good. Nice and leafy. But this is only going to be dry cow and heifer feed. We don't really feed round bales to the dairy cows, just silage, so. And then little square bales in the barn, of course, during the winter, which winter is fall splash, slash winter slash spring, because we're leaving them in the barn at night now. Unless it starts getting super hot again, but doubt it. So we got to say why the tractor is on these, uh, this, and by the way, I don't think I could do this with a two-wheel drive. There's not enough weight in the front. Like, I was at the stop sign back there, and I let out the clutch in the front end come out, come up in the air about six inches. We got, I think, 800 pound of weight, plus the front end. It has the big tires and rims compared to the other 50, so front end is pretty light. <laughs> But the truck isn't on here because the transmission went out again. But the reason the transmission went out is because
because the company who makes the transmissions had a, a shitty set of transmissions, I guess. We aren't the only person to have this problem. So this is the second transmission this summer, one in June and one now. So the one in June, we were the first one to have a problem. And then the 30 days between the first one going out and this one going out, there's a whole other people who had same problems with the rebuild transmissions, four or five people. So hopefully the third transmission they're putting in this year is the, uh, the one that actually is good. Because it went out in April. That was the original transmission on the truck. That had like 107,000 miles on it, which isn't great, but it still isn't too bad, I guess. But the other ones we were only getting like a thousand miles out of so supposedly they were just terrible from the factory we've only paid for it once the original time so the uh two other ones were unwarranted so not a dime out of our pocket so if we did have to pay it we'd be pissed